Hello, my name is Josh and I'm a technical trainer over here at SAS. Today, I wanted to go over how to use some dynamic date filters in the custom reports you make in visual analytics. First, we'll see that we have one object on this page and it's customer satisfaction by transaction date. Sometimes it's good to see from start to finish all of your data but other times you might wanna hone in at just a certain time point to see what's going on. To do this, if you go to the objects tab on the left, and if you scroll down to the controls, we have some options here, such as a slider. To be able to use a control such as this, we can go to the page, click on the snowman of that page, and expand page controls. Once we do that, we'll see that we now have an area for those page controls. Next, I'll go back to the objects tab and we can go ahead and slide this slider right where we created that space. Last thing we need to do to make this work is assign what we want for that slider. If I go ahead and just click on the assign button, we can choose the measure date and I'm gonna choose transaction date. It's the same thing that I have on the X axis of this object. I'll go ahead and close. And now you can see that we can slide, we can slide from the left to the right. And also we can slide this one to show just the range of dates that we want to show. This is not the end of the slider. There are more options we can do with it. Over on the options tab, we can scroll down to slider and this gives us some different options. First of all, we can choose single value. And when we do this, we just slide this and we just see one value rather than a range of values. Now on this graph, it might not make too much sense, but sometimes if you have a bar chart or other aggregation types of charts, it might be good to hone in on a certain date. I'm gonna go ahead and change that back to range. And now we have two sliders to show a range of dates instead. Also with this object, we still have a couple more options. On the options pane on the right, scrolling all the way down, we can set a value for the dynamic minimum as well as the dynamic maximum. When we do this, the minimum and maximum changes depending on what data is in that object at that time. Also with this slider, if you double click on just one of the points or click on one of the points, we have a calendar that comes up. Sometimes it might be kind of difficult to slide exactly to that date that you want. This way, you can choose on a calendar to choose exactly the date that you want to start and end at. That's it for the slider, but that's not the end of dynamic date filters. Let's say we wanted to work with only a subsection of our data. Maybe we want just the past few months, past few years, whatever it is, that's all we wanna look at. On the data tab on the left, if you click this icon, that's the data source menu, we can apply a data filter. When we do this, this is gonna filter all of the data that comes in to visual analytics. So I might choose an operator and maybe I want only the data that is within the past few months. So I'm gonna choose a comparison for that and I'm gonna scroll down and choose the greater than. If I double click it, it goes right where I need it. And now I need to assign some data values. So for the data items on the left, I want to expand date and I will drag transaction date over the left option. Now, sometimes it can be pretty hard to drag exactly where you need it because if you just go a little bit too much down or up, it won't work. How you know that you're in the right space is if it highlights around. So I'll go ahead and drop it there. So now we have transaction date being more than something, but we have to define what this is on the right. There's a special operator that we get to use for that. Since sometimes it might be difficult to think about, okay, how are you gonna subtract this date from that date to get the past three or four months? 
Well, we have something for that. Under the operators, under the date and time, we have this date from MDY. I'll go ahead and drag this here. And now you can see it has some options for us. Just hovering over, we can see that this top one is the month. This middle one is the day of the month. And the last parameter is the four digit year. Okay, so let's say that we want to go from month eight, and let's just say maybe the middle of the month, 15. And we want to do maybe just the year before 2017. So right here, I can choose an arithmetic expression as well. Now we have the month as well as the day of the month and we can just put in the year. So let's say that this is from the year of 2017. I'll click out of it. Now I can select okay. Click out of here and you'll see that we only are working with a subset of our data. Also, this slider has changed the minimum because you can see that it doesn't go back behind the 16th and that's because our data filter stopped at the 15th. Those are some examples of how to use dynamic data filters in SAS Visual Analytics custom reports. If you have any different questions for this, go ahead and put it in the comments below. If you wanna learn more about SAS Visual Analytics reports, click on the description below. And finally, if you would like to subscribe to see the latest and the greatest we have to offer, click on that subscribe button. All right, we're still rolling? <laughs> yeah, three, two. Hello, my name is Josh and I'm a technical. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start over <laughs> one more time. All right.